Hey everybody, Ben Mankiewicz, TYT Sports. Scary moment this week in the NBA, New Orleans Hornets in their game against the Cleveland Cavaliers star point guard Chris Paul in a play really reminiscent of what we've seen this past couple of years in the NFL with a head injury. It looked like he was concussed. I'm not a doctor. Don't play one on TV, but it looked really bad. It was late in the third quarter. Chris Paul took a knee to the head. Um, you'll see it here. Ball gets stripped and then going back, he takes the knee to the head. He was down for a long time. They had to bring a stretcher out. He wasn't moving for a while. The good news is later he was at the hospital. He was joking around with the doctors and nurses. He was moving completely. He followed the game uh, on his phone, talked to teammates. Cavaliers lost, obviously. The Hornets beat the Cavaliers 96-81. It was a game against the Cavaliers. Of course, the Hornets won. Um, the Hornets in a battle for the uh, fifth seed in the uh, Western Conference. And I bring this up because it's an opportunity, Chris Paul, a very special player, and it's an opportunity to remind people that Chris Paul, arguably the most clutch player in the NBA. We talked about this on TYT Sports earlier. Kobe Bryant thought of as an incredibly clutch player, and it turns out not really all that clutch a player. He's thrown up as many air balls as game-winning shots down the stretch for the Lakers in games that were either tied or they were down a point or down two points. Everybody remembers those great plays, but they don't remember the misses. Bryant has taken a tremendous amount of big-time shots, but as anyone who's seen the Lakers knows, those four other guys tend to stand around while Kobe puts up a shot, and many, many, many don't get in. If you break it down by percentage over the last 15 years, that's been as long as Bryant's career. The guy who's hit the most big-time shots in the NBA, though he's taken many less than Kobe Bryant, is Carmelo Anthony. But second is Chris Paul, 14 out of 31 in that stretch, which is 45% of those shots Chris Paul has knocked down. But as a point guard, that's not even the most telling statistic from Chris Paul. What's most interesting about Paul, and I'll say it as it relates to the Lakers, the Lakers over Bryant's career average 109 points per 100 possessions. That's when you start breaking the NBA down very specifically, and 109 points per 100 possessions makes the Lakers the NBA's most effective and proficient offensive team over Kobe Bryant's career. But over the last 24 seconds of a close game, they drop down to 12th, and they average just 82 points per 100 possessions. That's right at the league average, which is 82.4 points a game. So the Lakers, the best offensive team during the regular part of the game, in a close game down the stretch, they become an average team. The best team in the league at 107 points per 100 possessions, the New Orleans Hornets. And that, I think we can all say, is due 100% to Chris Paul. So, again, the good news is it looks like Chris Paul is okay, and we hope he gets back on the floor quickly for the New Orleans Hornets, because although a lot of people who only follow the NBA a little don't know how good this player is, and if he gets out of New Orleans, what an enormous difference he's going to make to a great team.